Hi everyone, Mass Das here, and I'm here with my final thoughts on the last time I saw you. I was given a code for this uh, about a week or so ago, and um, from Stride PR, and this is a narrative adventure game uh, set in 1980s Japan, and you play as like a 12 year old boy um, going through like the countryside of Japan. You're meeting like uh, like spirits and stuff in a forest, and that and as you might have seen in this trailer, it says about your first love and a terrible curse. So it is very that sort of coming of age sort of a game with a you know uh, young uh, young boy. The game does look really good. It's really good looking with this hand drawn art and stuff and animations. When it does have cutscenes, they look really nice. Um, I always played this on PS5. That's where I got the code. I played a little bit on my portal really good on the um, portal screen really good handheld game being like a 2d adventure game and you go going through you know like your adventure and um, that which is all set in a forest and in the forest you got different areas and you got like a, um, simple puzzles to figure out where you're trying to collect like items and then you can like move on with the story there's some things outside of that like you've got a little town which you can see and you got your your friends you can um interact with and there's some side quests and stuff like that i did all the side quests and finishing the game took me about seven hours on the ps5 um i i'm actually nearly all the trophies i'm missing three which includes the platinum i think one i would get once i've got one of the others because there's an 8-bit mini game in the in the game, um, set in the 80s Japan. So you've got like a NES or a Famicom, I guess it would be, which has got like a little mini game on it. Um, quite difficult. Um, it's quite a rare trophy. Looking, it's like nine percent of content. Like more people have the Elden Ring Platinum than this trophy, for instance. Um, the music's pretty good. It's like a low-fi uh, soundtrack and stuff like that uh, thing. Yeah, it's a real sort of interesting game. It's from um, the developers of Mosh Boroshi um, Art, and you can tell obviously with the um, what the game looks like, obviously the uh, art focus and stuff like that, and especially like I said, the cutscenes. And it's published by uh, Koros. Um, uh, I don't know if they got another game. It's just uh, uh, Koros. Um, they did in till then that came out recently. Uh, a space bit. Um, Spacey Unbound and Coffee Talk and things like that. So a couple of their games I've played before and really liked. This is why this game, um, you know, came to my attention and when I saw opportunity to get a code, I thought, ah, I'll check that out. Um, there's not many reviews for it. I think there's three on Metacritic, which are all about the 80 mark. I'm not sure I would say it's that good. It was definitely a like a fun time. Definitely wanted to be in that like universe. Like I said, I got all the, uh, like, sort of nearly all the trophies, did all the side quests, like, the characters are interesting. It is sort of, like, kind of generic story, like, young boy meets slightly older uh, girl, all falls in love sort of thing, and it's, like, Japanese, like, spirits and uh, stuff. It's just all the presentation around it, like, the art of the game, the music, and that has just got a pretty simple story. I'm not 100% sure how much the game is. I feel it's about fifteen pound. I will just check that. Um, actually, I'll say I'll just check that. It would say I will own the game on the thing. So yeah, I'm gonna do this on the fly now. Um, uh, time. So here, I. Sh uh, how much is this game? I should have checked this beforehand. On Steam, um, it's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, so when I said about fifteen quid, I wasn't far off uh, stuff. So it's not really huge, expensive game. Fifteen quid, I think it's definitely worth uh, that. Like I said, I played it on the portal mostly. I played a little bit. I played on the TV. Looks really good on that device. I think it'd be great on the Switch, um, especially like the OLED look good and like your steam decks and things like that i did find when i was playing on the portal it seemed to stutter a bit and i did think oh it must be my internet connection but then when i did play on the tv i found that a bit of things like i guess frame drops it's just um being in like 2d it seemed to be harder to tell like i played going a little bit off topic life is strange 
um, double exposure, playing that in the 30 frames mode, and I can definitely feel that's 30 frames uh, mode um, game. This being like 2D, I think it's hard to tell, but it does feel some bits that seem to stutter, and that's on the PS5, so I'm not sure like how it would be on the Switch. And um, that, um, yeah, I, again, I think this is definitely worth checking out for its price. If you've liked their other games, like A Space for the Unbound, Coffee Talk, um, Until Then was the recent one. Those um, games that they've uh, chorus has um, published, I think you'll like this one. I, I, again, this may be settings like 80 Japan, the cool art and stuff. You, uh, you like that? Like I said, the only thing is the narrative is pretty straightforward. It's just everything around it is done pretty well. Anyway, I've been Master Das. I'll see you again.